Good morning, everybody. You might be wondering, what am I showing you today? Well, this is going to be a little bit of a networking-focused uh, uh, conversation, and we're going to learn a few things about how to diagnose your network connection, how to see if your network connection is working. Networking. We're going to focus on networking today, and this might be interesting for anybody who is looking to pass the AWS um, networking speciality exam. I got an exam guide here written by uh, yours truly, right? So pick this one up if you want to pass that exam. Um, yeah, so lately I've been having a bit of an issue with my internet provider where latency is, yeah, you know, it's not the best. now. What I usually send my provider is just this. It's a graph. I've, I've cut out the name so that I don't want to publicly shame, shame anybody. Uh, what I do is I just give them a ping tool uh, output. So this is, this is a free ping tool. Um, uh, you can download that. I'll put it in the link where to find the ping, find the ping, ping tool. And basically what it does is it pings your desired address. I just put any random address and it does a whole trace route across uh, the board. So this is my local router, right? This is their gateway, and then to the next hop, and next hop, and next hop, and this is the target. Um, these latencies just pop up and will sometimes kill my training sessions, which is pretty annoying. So I have been, uh, I've been talking to my provider for, um, yeah, for pretty much a couple of days, uh, whether they can fix this or not. Um, and now my provider, since they are a, uh, it is a wireless um, platform. So I am connected with an antenna on my house wirelessly through their uh, LTE system. Uh, they say, well, you know what? Uh, our system is optimized for TCP. So your pings might actually not reflect reality. And I'm like, okay, your ICMP traffic is um, then not what it should be right your icmp traffic is is not reflecting reality so what i did was i found this little thing called tcp latency it's a python script that you can use yourself on any platform um i highly recommend it it is really good i just finished testing it i just finished running a test run uh so basically let's see how this is done so all you need to do is um you need to say TCP latency. So basically, um, yeah, you download the package itself and you unzip the package. I'm just doing this in Windows and in Python. So I uh, put this in this directory. Um, if you can see here, it just gives us uh, a setup and, and a directory called TCP latency. I'm gonna go to TCP latency um, and there you can find a, an executable file tcp underscore latency dot pi well it's not it's not executable it's um it's a python script uh tcp latency is what we want to start and then we just want to say google.com whatever um marcocloud.com right and then it's gonna run a tcp check against the platform right it tells us tcp sequence port 443 timeout is five and the time is five seconds is the timeout the time is this number of milliseconds. All right. What I want to do is I want to do this uh, more than once. Dash dash runs. And then 100 runs. Right. And now I'm going to do 100 runs against the platform. Now, pfft, this is not really uh, something I want to use. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this out. Well, uh, um, feed the results out to a file. Right. 100 runs.txt and there we go that's going to feed the output to a text file so what i can do now is i can open excel and i can open uh, data from text file right uh, i go to my directory i go to um, tcp 100 runs right i say it's it is delimited and I can see Marco Cloud space TCP space sequence space port space. Da, 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 da. I don't care. I'm going to say delimited. I'm going to say space is my delimiter. That will put them in columns, right? And I'm going to say finish. And there we go. 
bam, I got my data in my Excel file. All I need is this column really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, take this column and I'm gonna say replace, uh, replace uh, time equals with nothing, right? Because I wanna have just a milliseconds, right? Okay, close. Now I say uh, format cells, I'm gonna make them into numbers with two digits, two decimal places. That's good enough. And all I need to do now is I say insert. I'm gonna do a line graph. Boom, 2D line, and there it is. There it is, there's the line graph. There is my um, response times, nicely graphed. And the next time my, t my provider says, oh, you need to check the TCP latency. I can give them a, this little, I can give them this little result of TCP latency. So I just did, um, I just did a, a little bit of a, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another sheet. I just did a, a 5,000 uh, uh, or so a TCP checks against Google uh, just a few uh, minutes ago. So I'm going to pull in that data again from text. I got results text that I ran before, delimited with space i'm gonna do uh finish all right again i'm gonna say a replace time with nothing replace all boom close i'm gonna say um format cells into numbers with two decimal places and then what i'm gonna do is insert that line graph and it's a 2d line and now look a lot like the graph I had before, right? If you compare these latencies, 120 milliseconds, over 100, over 140, dup, 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 dup. these millisecond latencies look a lot like the graph that I was showing you in the beginning where there's spikes into over 100 milliseconds. Now, this is a longer time than what it took to do 5,000 TCP tests, but essentially it shows us that the latency with ping or TCP is exactly the same. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope you find this educational and I hope it helps you pass your networking exams. And of course, if you need more help, there's my book. Buy my book. Go ahead and buy my book. All right, stop shilling your books, man. All right, um, as always, you know the drill. Um, if you feel that I'm adding valuable information to, to the world, then uh, consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye.